G'day viewers, Jotocast again. Um, this is just going to be a quick update on the worker prophecy type R blaster that I built in the last video. Um, one of my subscribers um, who commented on my video, um, name insert here, suggested that I try a bit of uh, a brass insert in the barrel. So. Um, that is exactly what I did. So, what I've done is in the, I don't know if you can see it in there, in the actual front part of the barrel, I've put a brass insert um, and so it actually fits inside the breech, I guess you call it. Um, it actually fits inside that breech. Um, so it gives uh, a almost perfect air seal so um, yeah so he suggested I try that so I did now it appears to be giving a uh, higher FPS reading um, it seems to be shooting harder if I put it that way so what I'm going to do is um, grab some darts and then the other thing uh, while we're in the neighborhood the good people over at NF strike thanks again NF strike sent me a heap of different darts to um to sample and try and see what i think there's uh some accu fakes there's these uh like zig uh waffly ones there's like a z type waffle um a slotted uh one there's suction darts fvjs and these um i think people call them nipple darts so a bit of a uh, an assortment but um i thought i'd give them a try and we'll get FPS readings from each of them through the same blaster and see what um, sort of FPS readings we get from them and we can do a bit of a comparison to see what darts um, are worth having, what darts aren't. Alright, I've got the chronic set up. Let's see what this does now. Not liking these AccuStrike darts at all. Thinking that these don't work that great with the brass. They, I think they're just too tight to fit in the brass, and as a result, they uh, do not want to leave the barrel, um, and they come sort of dribbling out. So now I've got some FVJs. So we'll give them a shot and see how they go. Right. Alright, so they seem to be hitting a lot better um, and the FPS has improved from what it was previously. Um, I'm not terribly confident using uh, many of those other waffle type darts etc in this particular blaster because of the brass breech setup so what I might do is just skip the majority of those of the darts and what we'll do is we'll go to those these nipple type darts and we'll see how they go Thank you. 
got some just old elite darts. There's some standard elites and some zombie elites. These will use the darts as well, so. Alright, so um, the AccuStrike darts are a no-go with the Brass Breach. Um, it cut that dart up pretty bad, so I'm assuming that it's got something to do with, because it's a square edge tip, it doesn't want to seat properly and it might be catching and bending the dart, so thinking that's what it might be plus the that's a thick foam it, it's a pretty damn tight fit in there so yeah so I'm thinking that's that could be what the go is with those so um, I was hesitant to use any of these other waffle or square style tip darts so um, I thought I'd just stick with the the whatever you want to call these um, bullet head nipple tip type ones they seem to load all right although you see they're damn tight as well what about the FPJs FPJs mm, FPJs not a bad fit they seem to go okay and then of course you've got just your standard type darts which Yeah, that's what I'm assuming, is that they're just a better fit for the brass. Yeah, see that's a, a looser fit in the brass, a standard elite dart. So that's why they were getting a little bit better FPS here. See, they're a much better fit in that brass. So that's why this, the standard elites were actually giving um, higher FPS readings, um, because they're a better fit in the brass. Um, so there you go. So yeah, look, the brass breach definitely did improve the FPS. I think that, you know no one can argue with that. So thank you to this person on screen uh, for that suggestion, as it has definitely um, improved the blaster for use with full-length darts. So yeah, look, you could probably fine-tune it. Um, you know with uh, polishing the barrel etc maybe to um, accommodate the different darts the, the slightly tighter darts to give them a bit better fit and to let them slip down the barrel a bit, bit cooler and quicker so that's something I could look at um, the other thing I have done is I have ordered the short dart kit for this as well so that I can convert it into a, a Stefan firing version so uh, if I so choose um, but realistically, after seeing the um, standard elites out of this, that kind of is my ammo of choice in a full length dart. I do prefer a standard elite dart. Um, that's how I've sort of gauged and measured the FPS on all of my blasters over the years. Um, so I'll put the figures up on screen here uh, for the FVJs, the, uh, the nipple tip darts and the standard elite darts um, so there'll be three columns there with your uh, average fps for each dart type um, so there you go you can see what the end result was um, with those different darts all right um, once again thank you very much for watching um, please like and subscribe
and keep posted as there's more content to come. Um, I've got some more bits and pieces to play with. I've got a lot more content to come. I've got a select fire kit. I've got um, different flywheels and what have you to play with. As you can see in the background here, I've got some more NF Strike stuff to review and show you as well. There's so much going on. I've managed to, um, well, you would have seen my um, Deadpool Chronoses. Um, I've got a couple of the Phantom Cool Chronoses coming as well. Um, I've got some K26 Springs coming. Um, so there'll be more mods and what have you going on with all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm doing a bit of a revamp and uh, a couple of additional bits to my um, rival chaos so going to be fitting a scope and what have you to that stay tuned um, subscribe keep watching thank you for your support and i'll see you on the next one cheers